was three quarters of a free kick as Lappin goes along to Hume. Not unusual, Gary, that you do put the whistle to your mouth and you don't give it the full burst. You're Shit. undecided. They're right. Lachlan's kick by Blake Campbell. Now, umpire's found something behind Blake. There's a player down. It's an Nowhere near the ball. And they're calling for the stretcher, Dwayne. Is it Richard Cole in the middle of all that? Ooh. No, it's Brody Holm. It is Holm, yes. Yeah, well, this is interesting, I can assure you. Now, Buckley's just inquiring here as to, I think, his well-being or whether he knew anything of the incident. When was the last time Holland was near the ball? Let's watch Nathan Buckley here. Let's, let's just watch Nathan Buckley. He's gone, he's making his way to the Camparelli direction. No, he's looking for Fantino. No, he's looking for Camparelli. He is too. Camparelli and Holland have been on each other from day one. From the start of this game, now it would be wrong for us to cast any dispersions. None of us saw it at all. Well, he need only point at the scoreboard. High kick inside 50, and Burns, who almost puts his body on the line, takes the good mark at half back. Who was playing on Camp Rally at the time? Gary, any idea? No, Brodie Holland's been on Camp Rally from the start. Okay. Now, been niggling all day, but that is all that we could say on that. But there is the Curia game has had some moments. And this game, interesting. It is interesting, don't worry about that. It is still going on in the middle of the ground. If Tarrant were successful here with his third goal, it would be Collingwood's best first half result for the year. The stage here, Brian. Right on the side of my score. Now look at this, the frustration is boiling over here. Players converge on Camparelli. This is going to get ugly. What's on? Huge Didac throwing off the ball. Get your checkbook out, boys. If you're going to there, go into the checkbook. Right now, that could uh, almost constitute another. Kurda Freddy's a strong up there. Now, this is the Collingwood boys get off. They've got September coming up. They should just hit off. Michael Roberts is down there. Rob, I don't know whether you can hear us or not. Yes, I can, Brian. You're metres away. Absolutely unbelievable here. The bowler by Woden. A lot of the Collingwood players are trying to get their other teammates out of here. Hume Lockham. Hume has had a big crack at Lockham. Sleep it there, Michael. We'll just uh, keep an eye on this. We've got Lockett out the back. Mickey Martin's joined in. There are spot fires everywhere at the moment, Gary. There are three separate, four separate altercations going on. And the finger is in no uncertain terms being pointed right at Scott Camparelli. No question about that. But what these Collingwood boys have got to realise in five weeks of time, they're going to grace this field once again come September. The Carlton boys make their way across to the huddle. Don't go away. The scores may not be that close, but there is going to be some life in this game here at the MCG after halftime. 11 10, 76, the Blues, two goals, six, 18. Now wait. Wobbly kick. Camperelli gets the first. He did the right thing, Camp Rally. He didn't get the footy up. He took it to the ground, didn't turn it over. And Buckley did the right thing as well. Didn't get a free away. Fair and legitimate tackle, wasn't it? 